day 706 off the grid and I can leave this music going in the background because it's some original music by Jeff Carr from Palmerston North so it shouldn't flag the YouTube copyright so today I've mounted this little LED scrolling sign here and I'm gonna go outside shortly and film it from the outside so you can actually see it but I just want to show my wiring because that was a bit of a painful process, I have to say. And here it is down here. I'll pull it up so we can see it. So what we've got there in the corner is an old Canon AC adapter. Now that actually puts out nine volts, but this runs off 12. It originally had a cigarette lighter plug on it because it's intended to use in a car, but this being unregulated, when it's loaded lightly, it puts out about 13 volts, which was ideal. So what I did was I made this lead up, well, I chopped the end off, and I put a DC jack on there, you know, a barrel jack, whatever you want to call it. But I actually put the female end on the power supply, which is this one here. It's a panel mounting socket, so I converted it into a line one by putting this piece of hose around it and filling it with hot melt glue and the other end of course coming from the unit is the male end which I tailed on here using this heat shrink and stuff and soldered inside there now the reason why I put the male on the unit rather than the power supply is to stop anyone accidentally plugging it into the wrong power supply less likely this way it was a painful process because while I was wiring it up I accidentally blew the fuse inside that thing had a two and a half amp fuse in there I didn't have one so I chucked in a 500 milliamp fuse which was heaps for the unit itself but not enough for the inrush current of the capacitor charging when you turn it on so after a few power cycles it blew and while in the confusion because I was in a bit of a hurry to find the fault I decided Encasing this in the hot melt glue may have caused a short circuit in there, so I chopped it off, didn't I? And tested it, only to find it was fine. So that's why the white heat shrink's there, because I had to tail this end back on as well. So yeah, pretty painful process, but good result in the end. I mean, this is robust as hell, and it'll last forever, basically. It's not under any undue strain anyway, so... There it goes, it's just gonna live down there. Now we'll go outside and have a look at the other piece. And here we are outside. As you can see, it's just under the big sign that Jim printed. It's not very big, but once it gets dark, I think this will be quite eye-catching. Here's the message. I've always liked these LED scrolling signs ever since I was really young and I've always kind of wanted to have one. I mean I don't have any immediate need for one at home but here it's going to be good promotion I feel especially once it gets dark so many people wander past here. Finally we'll get some people tuning in well some more people you know we do have people listening to Radio Foxton but you could definitely do with a larger audience I guess as all radio stations could. It's all about marketing, really, isn't it? The Fox. Radio Foxton, 105.4 FM. Making tomorrow sound like yesterday. So far on day 700. 
and six off the grid. As you can see now that it's kind of getting dark, how effective this is. Of course, usually the light won't be on in the studio room there, but it doesn't make much difference. I've already seen a few people turning their heads as they walk past while I've been editing audio there, so yeah. I think that's $36 New Zealand well spent. And I guess the hassle with the power supply getting that sorted, but she's all going now. It's just stuck on there with suction cups. It's cool. So, there we have it. And to end day 706 off the grid before we go home and have our WAS fish and chips, we're in Foxton Beach now at the Foxton Beach Michael Fay and Tap. And we're going to see if this tastes any different to the water in Foxton. Mm -hmm. Fikey's going to fill her up now. Yep. Got the car's headlights on so we can see because it's pretty late. Right, here we are. You think you can get a little bit more in it? push it just lightly just lightly so it doesn't go for as long yeah that's it a little bit more a little bit more yep that'll do right hold on to that I'll just put the lid on and now that one for the lower tap I guess yep I mean you might as well do it on the lower tap yep right. okay the lid. Empty out the last of that water in there. Sure. Okay. Michael Fay and Tap. I have you demonstrate. The lower. She's got a bit more guts to that lower one. <laughs> and this, the one's really yeah, yeah, that'll do. Look out, it's gonna squirt. <laughs> okay, <laughs> it's doing wheeze. Okay, now yeah, should we try the um Test. No, I think that's enough for Why? tonight. Okay, try the test okay. then. Okay, I first time I hope I'm going to do a little bit more. Okay. Right, the test. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's warm. It's warm. Try. Oh, I won't try that, I'll just try it out of the bottle. Okay, that'll do anyway. Right, that's enough. You're going to get soaking wet. Mum's going to get cross with you. If you get real cross. Right. And we're using up petrol too. Right. That was good. Okay, that's it for day 706 off the grid. Oh, it's good.